You're watching Arkansas Style on KARK. Welcome back to Arkansas Style. Well, you can't say Christmas without a little good Christmas cheer, and eggnog is on the menu here. My Aunt Betty was somebody so special in my life and in my children's lives as well, and food was the center of our universe. Her eggnog recipe is one for the ages, and I'm telling you, if your family is fighting, give them a glass of <laughs> eggnog because by the end you're all going to be real happy. So first of all I want to give a shout out to one of my co-workers Fred who got me some farm fresh Arkansas eggs okay because we're using the real deal here with the eggnog they are real eggs that we've got in this recipe and Arkansas real eggs I'm so excited about that Aunt Betty just bought the store brought ones but anyway uh, <laughs> We're in Arkansas. We're doing it right here. So uh, we also are using 13 eggs. Yeah, and my cousin said Aunt Betty made it 13. It wasn't 12, okay? So you got to get the 13 eggs. And we've mixed just the yolks here with here. Are you, re are you ready for this one? Two pounds of sugar. When I first read the recipe, I had to read it uh, twice because I thought it was two tablespoons. And my cousin's like, you better reread that recipe. Uh, it's two pounds of sugar. All right, so we have got all of this beautiful liquid gold going into our pitcher uh, of the egg yolks, which I beat, uh, and the two pounds of sugar, and uh, mix that all together. And that is the base of our eggnog. Oh my gosh. Woo! All right, love it or hate it, I'm telling you, you've got to try this recipe because you'll be a believer after that. Okay, so then my cousin tells me, as I'm reading down Aunt Betty's list, we've got to put the booze in this particular order. All right, so first of all, we're going to do our Canadian whiskey. I don't know why she used Canadian whiskey, and by the way, it was supposed to be uh, Canadian mist. Uh, we went for the cheap stuff, but I went to uh, Heights Fine Wines and Liquors, and you know what? They hit me up with the Crown Royal. So... In goes an entire quart of Canadian whiskey, if I can get it open. Looks good though, doesn't it? Okay, so, <laughs> looks like a lot of booze, and it is, and we are not even close to done yet. Gosh, I hope my pitcher's gonna be big enough. Well, we're gonna find out, aren't we? Okay, so in goes the uh, Canadian whiskey. Next, we're gonna do one pint of Bacardi Light, okay, so Bacardi, I've already measured it out. It's in this little dealio. Holy cow. Mm-hmm. A little rum in there. Never hurt anybody. And now one pint of Cavassier. Okay. We got the E&J, the VS, uh, VSOP, whatever you want, but one entire pint. <laughs> There's no way this picture is going to be big enough. We're going to have to do it in two batches but we'll work with it, don't you worry, nobody panic. Okay, so then what we're gonna do is one and a half pints of half and half. So uh, Samantha, one of my coworkers, was helping me do the math on this. This was not easy to do the math. Uh, so it's one and a half pints of half and half, which I can't even remember how many ounces, but we've pre-measured it here, and in it goes, okay? So now it's starting to look like eggnog, right? Okay, so I'm gonna give it a little stir here, okay? Oh, it smells so good. I'm telling you, again, if you're not a big fan of eggnog, I promise you're going to want to give this one a try because it really is something special made with a lot of love and a lot of booze. Okay, then what's going to go in are three and a half pints of whipping cream, heavy whipping cream. I mean, this is magic. Uh, we pre-measured this out already, so we've got... Uh, Oh, really, really heavy, rich whipping cream, which is going to be so delicious. Okay, and this goes. Okay. Look at how, oh my gosh, so good. And no calories either. Forget about it. We're fine with no calories on that. Okay, so in goes the whipping cream. We're going to mix this up again. And then what we do is we are going to fold in the egg whites, okay? So after we did the 13 egg yolks, what I did was fold in the 13 egg whites. So we're going to take that, and it's just going to simply go into our mixture here, and it makes it really, really rich and creamy. Oh, my gosh, so good. So, so good. And Aunt Betty also was an incredible cook. I, one of the tricks she taught my kids when she was teaching them, because she helped me raise them too uh, when I was alone, um, 
She taught them how to eat the leaves off the trees, which is how she got my kids to eat broccoli. Try that little trick. Uh, again, she was a great conversationalist, great hostess, uh, and her eggnog was a classic. It was a request for every Christmas, and again, if your family's fighting, give them a glass of eggnog and everybody's just getting along just fine. Uh, and then another thing uh, Aunt Betty made was fruitcake. Are you guys a fan of fruitcake out there? Her recipe, I'm telling you, she, uh, she married into an Italian family, and so the fruitcake recipe is actually from her outlaw side of the family. But um, wasn't a really big fan. It's pretty involved, a uh, fruitcake, if you've ever, ever made one. But if you want Aunt Betty's recipe on the fruitcake, give me a shout out. I'll, uh, I'll ask Kevin, her son, to send it to us. Uh, Kevin was actually making this last night, and uh, he called me and asked me how, how it was going with my ingredients and stuff. I said, well, we'll see you on TV, and you can check out Aunt Betty's uh, recipe. Now, what you want to do is, what I've done is I went to the dollar store, and I bought the ball jars, the mason ball jars. This makes an incredible hostess gift. It makes a great uh, work gift if your coworkers like to uh, indulge a little bit. Well, unfortunately, Aunt Betty's recipe didn't say that you should be mixing this in a trough <laughs> because clearly I don't have enough uh, vessels here to take care of it. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make shift a little bit here. We're going to use just the heavy whipping cream. I'm going to pour that in there, and then we're going to get into the good stuff. Really a beautiful drink, a great hostess gift, uh, something that you're going to really enjoy passing down to your family, and, of course, it's going to make the holidays that much more fun after you have a little of Aunt Betty's eggnog. Mm. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm breathing fire. It's so good though. All right, well, when we come back, we're going to head to the hole in the wall. The bucket list is taking a trip out to Conway. Stick around. You're watching Arkansas Style.